Hi, welcome to Cyprus. This is Aphrodite Hills Golf Resort. I'm here, thanks to Golf Breaks, creating some content to hopefully help you play some better golf in 2017. As you can see, we're just off the green and we're talking about chipping in this video. And I've got an alignment stick here because I've got a fantastic drill that you can do during practice, which is gonna help you create some better movements through the golf ball to ultimately help you strike it more consistently, deliver the club more consistently, and hopefully get up and down more often. So what are we talking about? Well, we're talking about those golfers who don't pivot or use their body well enough through these shots and tend to see the arms break down a little bit too much through the impact. These golfers often struggle to control their low point. They struggle with strike. Uh, and when we get a couple of those things happening, confidence goes and then that makes these shots even more difficult. Here's what you're going to do. It's a really simple exercise. You're going to take an alignment stick. Most golfers have these in their golf bags nowadays and you're just going to place it underneath your trail arm. So in my case it's my right arm. Now you'll notice that as I do that it sits at a slight angle which is perfect. Now when I take my starting position as I look down I can see the alignment stick over here and I can see my club shaft which is behind it. Now, very, very simply, I want to feel like when I finish my golf swing, that relationship is still there. Notice how the alignment stick is now pointing more towards the flag, but from my viewpoint, the golf club is still back behind it. What we wouldn't want to have happen is that through the impact, the alignment stick doesn't really rotate to face the target and the club head really excessively passes this stick. Now, this type of release would be okay if we're looking to hit that ball really, really high. If we're looking to get some real elevation, having the club head pass the hand at a high rate would be something that we could do. But we're talking in this video about these short chip shots, which we want actually to play in relatively low, load it with spin, and hopefully get that ball checking up when it lands. So let me show what it's gonna look like. We're gonna go back and through. And there's my relationship where this stick is pointed more towards the target and my club head is still much more behind the alignment stick. Just show you the wrong one. So you can see there that the alignment stick didn't really move. The club head's gone way past, very, very cramped my arms. Lead arm is buckled, wrists are buckled, and that's the way to thin the balls and get those shots that many of you would have struggled with. So what I would like you to do, is set yourself up like this, have a couple of little practices, Focus on that finish, hold it there for a couple of seconds and start to think about what you have to do to create that. Notice just how much I've rotated my body. I'm looking to land this ball only some 10, 12 yards on the green, but I'm still making sure I rotate through to the target because that pivot is what's going to transport the golf club. Ultimately, you can hit shots this way. Sometimes it's going to feel a little bit strange, but a little bit of practice and you can start to get a little bit more comfortable with it. Okay, there's my finish. Little low ball flight, just rolling past the flag, but I'd be pretty happy with that. And again, if you can hold your finish, it's gonna allow you to see where things were. Body rotated, alignment stick pointing more towards the target, club head is still back behind my alignment stick, structure in the arms, that's what we're after in these shots. So when we're faced with these short shots from around the green, really key that we give ourselves a chance at holding that next putt. We're not gonna get up and down every time. It's very, very difficult but if we can start to consistently strike the ball, that makes it a hell of a lot easier. Many of you will struggle to get that ball close just because the strike is inconsistent. And if the strike is inconsistent, everything else will be inconsistent as well. The trajectory, the spin, the distance control, all those kind of things which we need to have if we're gonna chip that ball close. So try that little drill, great little exercise, something you can practice over the winter. You can do it in your back garden. You don't necessarily need a green for the ball to land on. You can still work on the movements get comfortable with using the pivot to move the golf club, transport that club through. And if we can do that, we can control the low point a little bit better, use the bounce on the golf club and ultimately hit some chips a little bit closer to the hole. Thank you very much for watching. Hopefully that helps. Big thanks to Aphrodite Hills for hosting me for a few days. As at the start, thanks to Golf Breaks for making it all happen. All the usual stuff is down below this video. There's a comments box, there's a like button, and there's also a link to subscribe to my channel. So if you're not currently a subscriber, click that link, it's absolutely free. More videos like this coming each and every week. Going to hopefully help you have a great 2017. See you again soon.